how tough it must have been for you. You were barely 17. How did you even get to India? I was on a South Indian film film set with Venkatesh. Somebody on the set was saying that on the mic, like this girl just can't dance. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. So Zero, I um, actually wanted to play Anushka's role. Hear what I'm saying. Oh, and now you sound like my husband. What do you mean? as his wife, then I pull his leg all the time. Would it be correct to say that the first time that you really took that leap? I'm really be... interested to know what yeah, you say. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I want to know what film you say. Yeah. Hi, I'm Katrina Kef and you can catch me on Sit with Hit List with Mayank Shaker only on Midday. Hello and welcome to Sit with Hit List, our award-winning, completely unscripted podcast and print series. My name is Mayank Shekhar. With me is actor Katrina Kerr. Thank you so much, Katrina, for joining us. No pleasure to be here. You know, I have to say that the viewers are going to watch this at any point in time because the conversation is not centered on just today. But just to place this in the timeline, uh, this conversation is taking place about, say, two weeks from Christmas Eve. Uh, less than a week uh, from New Year's Eve. So firstly, happy 2024 and Merry Christmas. Thank you. You know, I'm also saying Merry Christmas because that's also your next release. Mm -hmm. um, which should have come in Christmas, right? It's called Merry Christmas for God's yeah. sake. Like, were you, were That kind you, of uh, is a prerequisite, right? When you yeah, have a I film mean, called yeah. Merry Christmas. So is that something that you were responsible for, like shifting the date? Oh, no. I wish, I wish I, uh, I wish I, I wish people were so uh, eager to listen to me, but no. <laughs> no, they should be. They should be. I'll tell you why. Because everything that I've known about you over the years is that you have your box office numbers and your fingertips. You seem to know the opening collections of movies, the release. So you know, you know the big Bollywood setup uh, in this lot for sure. Like you're the veteran. <laughs> no. I don't know if anyone else sees it that way though. I get your point, but I'm not too sure. Um, which is, I think, why... I love this setup. I think Shiram sir is such a unique person. You call him sir, is it? Yeah. Okay, on the set He's, as well. Yeah. Older, yeah. I think that's age appropriate, right? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I didn't ask his oh, age. Is it a Bollywood thing to say sir? I think it is. I think it is a bit of a, a film industry thing, or or, or an industry thing. I hmm. think, but also, it's, I think sometimes it just feels right. Like I wouldn't be called Ali sir, right? I wouldn't call Ali Abbas Zafar sir. I'd be because that's like, the Ali. rapper you have. <laughs> He's my yeah. rapper. He's my friend. He's also my similar age. But yeah, feels right. I think Shiram sir also sounds nice. And he's got he's got he's got white hair. But yeah, so I mean he could he could you he know could, dye yeah. his hair. That, it could that's be not... a fashion statement. But <laughs> I think he he's he's a person who really um he's not swayed by trends and he's not dictated by what is uh, currently going on mm. and currently in trend and in vogue. I think he's just a passionate, a really passionate storyteller. He's a quintessential movie buff you know mm. like he's the person who can tell you all what of the what t-shirt is he wearing today like i haven't seen exactly him. every day is a new film so <laughs> yeah. it'll be a hitchcock film someday then it will be some hindi film classic he's a passionate movie lover he's a, mm. he's a lover of cinema and he sees things in a very different way mm. he has um a very unique take on things and so kind of like the first step for me in this film was let go Mm -hmm. And I think that applied also to the release of the film, the marketing of the film, everything, because I just wanted in this, in this, in this setup to just take a step back and, um, and just see how He's how, also how earned it, it right, Katrina, in the sense yes. that uh, while he may not be a quintessential Bollywood blockbuster maker, but his last film, which was Andadhun, that passed, like, you know, went past 300 crore, of course some of it had to do with China box office as well. Um, but for you as an actor, it's a completely different space, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very different space. Like I would imagine Tabu in it, not Katrina yeah. Kerr. No, I can, I can completely see um, Tabu in a, in, a, in a space like this and I loved her in Anthadun. I mean, I love her anyways, yeah. I think we all do, but she was just fabulous in Anthadun and I, I think that um, when me and Sri Ramsar kind of uh, set out to make this film mm. together, the first important thing for me was to not come with any baggage or any pressure. And the great thing about Shiram is that, now you've made me conscious of saying sir. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about him is he doesn't, um, he does not put that pressure on you. Mm. I'm a great filmmaker and my films are so um, artistic and you know, uh, everyone has to be great in my films. He's very chilled. Mm. He's very chilled and he's not, he's not putting that pressure on you that, uh, you know, Hmm, you know, he's very just 
I'm me, you're you. Let's just be true to the situation. Let's be real. Let's find honesty in this. Mm. And he, he does take a lot out of you though. Mm. Like after the first narration, he um, told me in the room with him and the, his editor, uh, Pooja, mm. we were discussing something about the, about the character. Mm. And he was feeling one way and I was uh, perhaps having, you know, just a, another kind of viewpoint on it. And I went home and I wrote the backstory. Mm. He didn't ask me to. That was the thing I realized. Mm. I wrote the backstory of who I thought Maria was, this, the, my character's name. And then I gave it to him. I emailed it to him. Because mm. I think it was what, during one of the lockdowns. I emailed it to him and said, sir, I just wrote a backstory of what I think for Maria. And he really loved it. Like he really loved it. And we had a more in-depth discussions based on that. And I think that gave us a little bit of guidance into, into our debate. But he's that kind of director who, who will allow you that space for these yeah. conversations. So I must let the viewers know that I haven't seen Merry Christmas yet. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I wish I had. But you know, you kind of know the space is going to be yeah. in the Noirish space. Yeah. Uh, while it's a Christmas series, it'll have like a lot of Easter eggs, you know, in, in your references and in jokes and, and things like that. that happens in all Sri Ram's films. But uh, personally for you, uh, Katrina, I was listening to a couple of interviews that you've done before the release and you've been saying something to the effect of how you were crying before, crying during, oh, yeah. crying after. I'm, I'm sure you meant it in a nice way, but you shouldn't be crying so much. I mean, what's going on? No, no, no. Some of it was re re required. Some of it was necessary for the film. And then, of course, heaps of it was not required, but that was me feeling what I was feeling what at the time. What were you feeling? Like, why are you crying so much? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what happened. Uh. Firstly, when the film actually went on floors, mm. when we started discussing the film and when we went and went on floors, was there was a big time gap. Mm. When the film actually went on floors, it was literally f three and a half or four weeks after I had just got three and a half weeks after I just gotten married, mm. and I'm getting into you're in this incredibly jubilant, yeah. celebratory, happy space, mm. okay? And also you have to remember that there was COVID in between, so. All I wanted to do in that moment was spend time with my husband right. because it was time I had not, we had not got had together. It's now time to show up on set. I'm obsessed with my work. I'm extremely dedicated like that. I, it's, I can't be halfway in anything, but I'm in this incredibly happy, jubilant, mm -hmm. coming out of this incredibly happy, happy, jubilant celebration and diving into this film, which not to give too much away, but is very intense and a little bit of a darker, right. a darker film. Mm -hmm. And I had to like, firstly, it was difficult for me to get into the zone. Mm. Then once I realized that this is happening, right? Mm. Then you had to dive in, mm -hmm. you had to like dive in into the deep end. And where the tears started was because in the Hindi part of the film, there's, a, let me put it this way, there's a fair amount of emotion. Mm. So I'm crying a lot in the film as a character mm. because there's a lot of stuff, go cry, there's a lot of stuff going does. on, okay? That's yeah. what we do yeah. <laughs> when we get upset and then there was a conversation. I have some, I've been told, an issue with a little bit of selective memory. And okay. I know this is true. Some things just don't stick and I just kind of choose to forget it. Yeah. So apparently it's a good way to be Shri happy, Ram, by so, the way. Yeah. It's a good way to yeah, be happy. Yeah, yeah. But, she, but also it's a good way to sometimes get, in, get yourself in trouble. So Sriram sir has apparently told me, as it has been reaffirmed to me by my manager who said it was clearly told that this is going to be a film that's going to be bilingual, mm. which means we're going to do the film in Hindi and we're going to do the film in Tamil. And somehow I just kind of you forgot passed, the part. No, I just kind of passed it off. Hmm. I think it's just one of those things that hmm. ignorance is bliss or you know, hmm. it's like the, uh, the ostrich, if you put your head in the sand, nobody hmm. will see me. If I don't say it, they won't say it. Hmm. And so we've, we shot the whole Tamil, uh, sorry, the whole Hindi version on, this, on the set, right? Hmm. Now that this, this is done. And uh, Can then- Can do it again? So then Sri Amsar says, and now, and now we're going to do the Tamil uh, version. So this actually happened about four days before. Right. There, was, there was about four days left and, and then the, start of the conversation started warming up. The thing is that he knew I was scared and he was also delaying to bring it up with me for the longest time because mm. he knew I was so scared. So then the conversation, that box opened up that we're about four or five days away and now we're going to start the whole thing again in Tamil. Mm. So it wasn't like one shot Hindi, one, one shot Tamil. Okay, it then. was the whole, the whole sequence. Film. The whole Not the whole film, per sequence. Right. So one, one set, for example, was 20 days. So 20 days in Hindi. After the 20 days, then we, we went back and did the again. whole thing again in, That's nuts. in Tamil. Did they pay you twice for it? They 
did not. I hope they did. I mean, you did two movies for God's listen, sake. Listen, you're completely right. And listen, we gotta have a chat about that. Why don't you and me come campaign for it? See come, on, come, come on, come on. Let, let's come. I think yeah, that's we're gonna campaign for that together. Basically, what happened to cut a long story short, I'll keep it precise. I tried to convince him not to do it. As simple as that. Oh wow. I can I you was said trying, just I tried, double it. No, I yeah. just was like, sir, takes. I, I went as far as saying, take somebody else. Mm. I said, sir, take take a take a, a Tamil actress. Oh. And he was like, but why are you so scared? I said, sir, I'll tell you why I'm scared. If this was any other film, probably take my last four films that I've done. Take Tiger, for instance. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, tiger, tiger, would be like tiger maybe not. Demanding. But let, yeah. let, let's say whatever. Most of the films that I've done, if you say, do it in Tamil as well. It, it would be in control. This is a very, very conversational film. Mm. There's scenes where it's almost like I think a 15 minute scene where it's just you and me talking. Mm. So that much conversation to do in a language like Tamil, which is so, you know, which is but an I alien language to, to me. I know that this entire conversation that we're having, mm. we'll be doing it all over again in Hindi. <laughs> I hope you know that, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we can absolutely do that. No problem. <laughs> That's okay. Tamil, I might just like, <laughs> have a heart attack. So then what happened? So what happened is um, that's when the tears started. That's when the tears started. So before that was the tears required for the Hindi part of the shoot. Mm. Then was the tears of, of, of I Doing think, it. worry, yeah, yeah. Of worry to, to, to start the Tamil uh, version. So I cried a lot. I cried a lot. Genuinely, I think for three days I cried. I was like, no, sir, I won't be able to do it. I can't do it. It's going to be so difficult. But I was also taking a lot of stress because I was working myself up mm. for all the reasons you just said, no? Mm. It's a Sri Ram Raghavan film and oh, mm. it has to be. And when it was in Hindi, I was fine with it. But the minute, the minute it got to I Tamil, mean, you, you I was done, taking right? You were probably emotionally spent. By I, the time you were I, it it was first. honestly hard. Right. I found it tough. And then so you know, you've been talking about how there have been twists and turns hmm. leading up to the film. Is that what you mean? Yeah. I think that that and also just uh, the COVID that came in between, how the shoot the shoot sure. got uh, got kind of started and then stopped. But yeah, so to wind up that the the that story, basically what happened is I had an incredible uh, coach who came to help me. Her name is Deepa Venkat, and she. Um, she was like my, my rock. She actually came to me on, the day, on that day when I was crying and she came to me, you look really stressed. Let's go sit outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she just kind of really, really held my hand through it. And then I told myself very simply that now you've expressed yourself. Now this is happening, you're gonna do this. And now drop everything. Just drop all the stress, drop all the tension, drop all the fear and do as much preparation on the lines as you can before the camera's rolling. But the minute you hear action, do not think. I know you'll say, but that's obvious. But I really had to force myself. But I, I almost, had, I just had to force my brain, do not think. Mm -hmm. And just see what happens, trust what happens. You know, you also mentioned about how uh, you got to learn a lot. And that's one of the things that you've been sort of seeking in terms of the films you want to do. You want to learn something new. What do you learn from this film? What do you learn from the director, perhaps, or just the process of making this film? I don't know if, if, if I would describe it as learning something new. I would describe it as I want, to, I want to portray myself in a new way. And my reason and thought process behind that is A, I think I don't want to repeat myself too much anymore because in certain, in certain scenarios, I myself am feeling bored of myself. And if I'm feeling bored of myself, I'm pretty sure the audience is going to be feeling pretty bored. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm feeling repetitive, they're going to feel mm -hmm. it repetitive. Mm -hmm. And that's the instinct that, I'm, that I try to go by. It's not, it's not out of trying to predict the future. Mm -hmm. It's out of being genuine and honest to myself. Mm -hmm. Like in certain, in certain spaces right now, I'm questioning myself am I really feeling joy in this moment? Mm. And I don't mean joy because it's a happy or sad film. I mean, yeah. am like I feeling alive here? Yeah. Am I feeling alive? Am I feeling like I have something to give in this space? Something mm. new to give myself as an experience and something new to give the film in this space? And that's the, the, these are the questions which I'm asking myself before I do anything right in this space in my life. I think this is a, a kind of period of a certain transition in a way as in we all need to evolve and, and change over the years. I'm yeah. not the same 19-year-old that I came into the film industry yeah, yeah, when I came into the film these industry. these blockbusters or one after another. Uh, well, you had a big blockbuster in 2023 as well. That would be the third Tiger film. And, and what an amazing franchise. See, now that's the space that I can honestly put my hand on my heart and say, that gives me joy. 
you know that that you don't find that repetitive that not at all i okay. i don't i don't f i find zoya the character like i don't know did you see the film i found the way that manish explored her whole backstory the relationship with her mentor i found that to be really really brave uh, to do that in the space of you know a big you know what I just remember the dance sequence to be honest with you. I thought well, it was fantastic. I mean, even that, yeah. even that was yeah. just so much was, was so much fun. Listen, I love that space. I've yeah. always said that that is one side of me that's really really close to my heart. I love those action uh these these action films mm -hmm. and I love I love that female action genre. I think mm -hmm. that's also really really an incredible space. I think I relate to that. Mm -hmm. I relate to that mentality, obviously not going out there and fighting people, but I relate to the mentality screen, yeah. of of determination and and grit and powering through things on a certain level mm. on, on a physical level no matter how hard it may be and i i get a lot of satisfaction and a lot of but those are also the point. movies that become the massive blockbuster successes and you know your posters across india and every nook and cranny mm. every nook or everywhere right i mean uh, that's that was what happened with tiger 3 as it happened with 2 and 1 of course um and that was like the big pairing, you and Salman Khan. That's the, you know, I think we've what, done seven films with him. Would that be correct? I think I'm, I would have to stop and count, but I'd, I'd say I'd say six, six or seven, yeah. Six or seven. And uh, I think there's a lot of. Um and there's the other uh, hero that you always paired with, which is Akshay Kumar. Yes. Which would also be about six or seven, if not. No, not we would have done more films. More films uh, than that, right? You actually done more films with Akshay Kumar than you have with. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, w I would say so. I'd have to sit and count them all out. Uh, we can Google this. <laughs> Namaste London, Sing is King, Welcome, Devanadan, Tisma Khan, Suryavanshi. Hmm. Seven films. Seven films. Seven films. And I think out of those seven films, six of them are, you know, really, really yeah, loved, yeah. loved, yeah. successful films with the audience. And um, I think that that's, that's really special. I think that we, we have a... We have a fantastic uh, uh, tuning on uh, together when we work. How is it different? Like when you when you are in a blockbuster starring Akshay Kumar and a blockbuster starring Salman in terms of you as an actor, uh, because you're also like sort of you know riffing off the energy of the other person. I know that people keep talking about Akshay Kumar being this this morning person and Salman being this night person. Blah blah blah. But that's that's <laughs> a superficial part. No no. Of I it, think right? you uh, no. It's not. That's a very okay. real part. How we spend our time and, and whether it's sunlight or daylight, do we live in the day or in the night, is a pretty big <laughs> part of life. Yes, you hit the nail on the head. Akshay Kumar is the morning person. Mm. So the conversations will go, Akshay, get a late call time. No, please, please, mm. I don't get up at six in the morning. And then the, on the other side, it will be, Salman, come a little early. No, please, don't come so late also. Like, just, just thoda jaldi aana, please. <laughs> so that's the... <laughs> that's but that's, that's the part of when you show up on the set. But in terms of actors, how are they different from each other? Oh, they're very, very different. You know, um, obviously, they're both phenomenal artists. Yeah, Otherwise, you, have to be to, you would have to, to survive, be to survive that many decades, what yeah. is it, 20, 28 to, something years yeah, close? Late 80s, early 90s, yeah. they've been around. Maybe even then. 30, I think. Yeah. I think someone done 30 years in the industry, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you, 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 that's it. you can't question that. Mm. As a actor on set of course he has his moods as as you know mm. we all know someone as yeah. uh, is uh, can be a very honest person that way but he actually thinks a lot mm. he thinks a lot and he sees things in f uh, from the from the pr perspective of the of the of the story mm. he's following the whole story sometimes as an actor you can come on set and it's all about the scene and that's fantastic mm. and it's great but he will usually still be remembering the entire story the entire arc of the, the, entire arc yeah. of the film and and he's very he's always very very conscious of how the overall story according to him is turning out mm. but listen it's been so many years now you have a tuning with a person on set mm. right i've been on set with him for almost uh, the last 18 years on right. and off right? right so you have you know that person and what what i think is really important to me at least is that w we we make sure that the films if there's ever a film that we're doing mm. that that film has got to be special right and, th and that's that's what I think is, is important to all of us anyways as actors now right, forget right. who your co-star is I think you have to really so how's Akshay different hmm? how is Akshay different oh you're not letting me I got your point <laughs> I was trying to veer away into some other discussions <laughs> um, 
Akshay is a very, he's just a different person. Akshay is very, very, uh, Akshay improvises he's more the a lot. Scene? He's more the scene rather than the entire story? No, he's, he's, he's covered the story, but he improvises a lot, I think, mm. Akshay. And he comes, he comes on set with, with the way he sees the scene. Mm. And, then, and then, of course, then we'll discuss it and then he'll see what you're doing. And then we'll kind of, you know, we'll play around in, in that space. So you mean to say, I, I still haven't understood how Sanman and Akshay are different. They're just different you. as people. That's, They're yeah. just different as people. I mean, for me, it's, for me, it's hard as to... Actors, because you have to rip off that energy. How is it different? Yeah. They're incredibly different. It's like saying, how am I different to you? We're, we're, we're two completely different individuals, right? Akshay is a completely different person. Salman's a completely di different. So you have to match his energy. It will be more like, okay, no, you need I to improvise more because no, that's what Akshay is going to do. I don't do that at all. I'm not focused on what my co-actor is doing. I'll respond to what my co-actor is doing. Mm. But it's not, I'm not concerned, oh, what is he doing? Now I have to match it. See, especially in the last few years, mm. I... It gives me a lot of uh, confidence and I enjoy my work a lot more when I come from a very prepared place. Mm. That's whether the director asks for it or knows about mm. it or not. I do a certain amount of preparation on my own. Mm. So I come with that preparation, but I'm not locked to the way that I want to do a scene. Mm. If the director is not working for him, I don't hold on to it in my mind saying, oh, but I've fixed it and I've prepared it that way. I, I incorporate with whatever he says, with whatever uh, you know, an experienced co-star or any co-star yeah. is saying to me that, okay, no, this is the way I see the scene. And then I'll integrate that and incorporate that into what I've already prepared. Right. So I'm not coming on set dependent on what they Regardless who's opposite you. Yeah. Right. That, that, that I will, of course, incorporate it because everything's about give and take. But mm. I've already come prepared with what I feel about the scene. Right. Because, you know, if you look at, one looks at your career and it's been 21 years, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in Bollywood. That's crazy. And, and which is one of the reasons why I was asking you about Akshay and Salman, because there are things you would have learned from them. And one of them would be longevity, right? I mean, how do you survive that many years? Many people have come and gone. Um, we are journalists in the room and, you know, we've sort of seen lots of careers finish and lots of careers restart. But one of the things that one notices about you, uh, Katrina, is the fact that even when you were the blockbuster actor, you had this this thing in your mind that you want to do something that breaks the clutter. And, and by, by, by that I mean something along the lines of something that's not just song and dance, um, something where you're not just this shy, demure Bollywood heroine, but you're also in entertainment that's got some art to it. You're also playing a part that exacts something out of you. And would it be correct to say that the first time that you really, really took that leap I'm it really interested to know what yeah, you say. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I want to know what film you say. Yeah, I'm going to say New York, 2009. Mm. Yeah, I, I was wondering if you... For me, I see it as Namaste London. Okay. Now, I'm not sure which came first exactly. Uh, I, I think Manas came, came I think before. it is. Yeah. For me, it was Namaste London. Really? Yeah. Even though there was a certain comical and, um, let's say, almost rom com yeah. tone to the film, yeah. I think it was... It was um, I think he was a great character. I think I just I loved that story. It was just it's not, it's like that typical you know um, East meets West in in the in that rom com mm. space. You know NRI chick and this Indian boy. Mm. I thought I thought it was brilliant. I mean I loved it. For me, no, I'm for sure. Me, I, I, thought mean, it was I don't, think, I don't think I'm talking about good or bad films. Then there's no such thing as that. Anyway, I'm looking at like something that has a base that's stronger. Like let's say for instance, New York was a proper political film. It may have songs and... Okay, no, okay, I get what you're saying. You're talking about the milieu of the film. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think New York, regardless if, if even for me, though I felt like, you know, that as a, as a character was phenomenal. For, for me, the film New York was a completely new language mm. in, in cinema, in the way that he was telling the story. How did he land that The story film? he was telling. I'll tell you a very interesting yeah. story yeah. about how he landed that film. So do you, do you remember this film called um, Bachna e Haseena? Yes. So that was, uh, uh, Ranbir Kapoor, it was right? Ranbir's yeah. second film, right? Correct. It was yeah. his first film with Yash Raj. Yeah. And there were four girls in the film. Huh. I was the fourth girl. Okay. That character got cut of the film. Hmm. So I got cast in the film. Then I, cut, cut means before they even uh, cut, cut on the script level. On the script, on the script level. Yeah, because it would be the same person going to the fourth person now. Uh, That's what he does in the Something like movie. that. Yeah. And the film was becoming too long. Yeah. So Adi, Adi Chopra called me to the office. Now, this is the first Yash, uh, uh, Yash Raj film I'm cast in, okay, which mm. is a big thing for me. And right. I had been vying for a Yash Raj film for, for, uh, uh, for some time up, yeah. up at that point. And he calls me after I've after been cast in the film and says, listen, you know, the script is too long and we're going to have to cut this, 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 um, this character. And I was like, ha, 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 ha. he was joking me. Mm. 
And I think that that was, it was so incredible because I would have been, I think I, it, was, it was fair to say I had a fairly yeah, small role. Yeah, I mean, you're one of the role. four yeah. um, leading it was ladies a, It was a film, limited yeah. role in that yeah. film. And um, then I think shortly later, he called me for this film, mm. which when I first heard the film, mm. my response was kind of like, he's offered me this kind of small film with hmm. no songs artsy. and artsy, <laughs> no song and dance. Kabir Khan. And Kabir and Khan is like a documentary kind of filmmaker. <laughs> and I was like, he's let go of taking away my big commercial film with Bachnaya Hasino and he's given me this art film with New York. Hmm. And I was not very happy hmm. about it. The person who actually was um, super, super encouraging of me to do the film was Salman because he had met Kabir Khan for his first film, which was um, Kabul Express. Okay. Oh, really? Yes. Salman was going to be in that movie. He wanted him to be in the movie. Okay. Now, sure. I don't know what happened there, yeah. but so, so Salman had uh, really, really uh, liked Kabir from that interaction, and he said, no, I think this is going to be an incredible film, and Kabir is going to be a great filmmaker, and you should be really excited about this film, because I was kind of a little angsty in my right, heart. Right, right. So, because uh, you're like going into that art house space. Yeah, I was That's like, where are the songs? Where's the scale? <laughs> uh, as we all know now by history, I said I did say yes to the film. And yeah. I let, let me put it this way. I think I've also said this many times before. I very begrudgingly walked onto the set in New York. Mm. Singers King had just released, okay? Mm. Singers King was like getting massive right. love. Yeah. And I'm walking onto this as, in my mind, slightly arty film. Yeah. And I'm like, where are the lights? I don't see any lights here on the set. Like, where's the camera? There's such a small, where's the crew? There's such a small crew. And I was like... You being the diva. I was, no, but I was, it was all under say. Okay. I was okay. like, I was you like, this, it. yeah, I was like biting my teeth yeah. and, you know, like, I was like, this is seeming like a very quaint production. Yeah. And I was like, where's the scale? Where are the people? And that turned very quickly for the, for the purpose of time for this interview. That turned very quickly into when the film schedule wrapped in New York, mm -hmm. it being the most incredible experience of my entire life up until date, I'm counting, oh, wow. as a film. Really? All of us, I mean, we were crying to leave. None of us wanted to leave. And it was crying like as in like really genuine heartbreak for that experience mm -hmm. to get over. The, my closest friends in my life are all the friends I made on that film, mm -hmm. till date. Mm. All my closest friends were are, are in the industry who yeah. are my people, are my closest friends in, regardless, in or out of the right. industry, Your are the friends I made. From that my film. peeps are from that film. Wow. And the experience of working with Kabir was like an eye opener to me. Mm. And I think he had a big role in, in the journey that my life took because he gave me confidence in my own voice, mm. which up until that point I didn't. Right. I didn't even consider. Yeah. What do I think? What yeah. do I feel? Yeah. Just do what as as told. Just do as told quietly. Yeah. yeah. I think he 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 really um kind of helped me find my voice, and it turned out to be a life changing. I know, movie. right? That's the reason why I mentioned New York because once you look at the films that you once one looks at the films that you did thereafter, for instance, Rajneeti, right? It yeah. Comes after. That, uh, oh. Even like a Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara comes thereafter. Uh, which, by the way, is, is that your favorite film? Because it's a lot all, of people's three, favorite all film. All three of these experiences, I think, were probably some of the most incredible of my life. Rajneeti was, what, a, what an experience. I mean, what a, what a shoot we had. I remember when I had to Bhopal, do that. Bhopal, I'm presuming. Bhopal. Yeah. You know, there's one, one sequence in the film where um, I give that, that speech to a big crowd yeah. when, um, when my husband has died. Yeah. And you know, Prakash, Prakash, he yeah. likes to shoot. I don't know about anymore, but he, he likes to shoot things very real. So he had actually prepped and worked with like, I think at least a two or two, 3,000 strong crowd. Like mm. when you walked out as far as you could see, there were people and these yeah. people were not extras. They were yeah. like, you know, I don't know mm. locally yeah. how he managed this. And I had to walk on that stage and give that speech. Like a politician. Like a politician. Yeah, yeah. And all of us, if you remember that scene, mm. are on stage, yeah. right? Nana sir is there. Right. Everyone, everyone yeah, who's yeah, in the yeah, film, Ajay yeah. Devgan's there. Yeah. As I was walking on there, I, like, I was, my hands were trembling. And I remember Na Nana sir saying, it's fine. It's going to be fine. Do well. It's mm. going to be good. And worked out fine. And it worked out fine. And what yeah. a, I mean, what yeah. a. And of course, you continue nice doing that in, in some ways or the other, like down to say a zero, uh, even even Bharat, of course. I, I would I would call that the next. Yeah. After these films, I think zero was a, was an, again an incredible 
incredible role. Answer this all should, I, should I tell you another? St- another you don't um, need to ask me. You just tell me. Yeah. I'll tell you another. What do you call it? Incident. Incident. Or, or anecdote. 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 About Zero. So Zero, I um, actually wanted to play Anushka's role. Okay. So, uh, sir had narrated me the film. Uh, Anand, sir, is Anand, this Anand, now? Yes, sir, yeah. sir. Anand sir had narrated me the film, and I heard that role, and like I knew he was narrating me for this, but like my eyes and my ears were like this every time I would hear that character's name, and they would read her, d- describe her scenes, and um, I, I said the, the narration got over. I said, sir, let me do that. Let me do that. No, beta, it's already cast, and this that. Or he didn't say it's already cast. I think he said that. I think we've already kind of thinking of someone, and I after they left that night. I taped on an iPhone, mm. an audition. Mm. I taped an audition of me doing that role. Mm. And I sent it to Sir. I, I called Sir, I said, can I come and see you? And I, I showed it to him on, on the laptop. And he watched it on the laptop. Mm. And he actually thought about it. He was like, listen, uh, I, 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 I am really moved, Veta, that you've done this. And I think that it's, um, I think it's really, really interesting. And he, um, he said, give me a few days. So that gave me hope. Mm. I thought that, OK, maybe I'm going to. This kind of whole circle went on for a few days and in the end actually because I got so attached to that role I couldn't even see if this role was good or mm. not you know mm. when you just mm. you get yeah. like fixed on something in the end how the film came about was actually Shahrukh um, Shahrukh was with me and Anand sir and he said just trust me I know you feel emotionally like this now but just trust me and he told me just do this film just trust me and do this film and it was on the basis of that genuinely that I took that step because otherwise I was so attached to that role it's all I could see I wouldn't Were you I wasn't supposed to do, do a this. double role at some point like both the roles that was that, that was when the film was was uh, a film called, titled um, Katrina Merijan Oh, that really? Was, that was like so a zero few, was Katrina Mary Jan yes, at one point in time. I th- something like that. Like yeah. I mean, Anand sir would know the story better, but yeah, that was the original process uh. of it. But then that film, I think, kind of right. that whole script. Then Shahrukh Khan came along, so yeah. No, I think that script had that changed script. before. That okay. was a different script. Then this became a different script, mm. and then uh, Shahrukh was uh, became a part of this film. But it was honestly his. Uh, it was his conviction that right. made me do the film, and I'm. I'm so incredibly grateful that he did that because um, after then I got a chance to play that role. It was one of the best yeah. roles that I think I. I you know, have. it's still in that big, big scale movie space, right? As against, for instance, uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, and the reason I'm saying that uh, it's actually a shout out to my friend Krishna. He's a he's a Tamil movie buff, okay? Mm-hmm. And he sent me a clip last night, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, of an interview of yours where uh, you're with Vijay Setupati okay. and somebody's asking him a question about you know you've been playing these villain roles and you stop that interviewer say listen uh, but you know he's done 96 and he's done uh, Super Deluxe which is essentially tell me like you've actually seen these movies yeah. is this a Vicky <laughs> Kaushal effect like that that no. space is really not your space that's unfair huh? <laughs> listen that you I don't have a space I, do, I really genuinely am saying this I'm basing a sp- uh, space on you're based, what you're, you're, ba- you're basing on the films that you've done on, the, on my choices yes but yes. that doesn't mean that that's that you don't that catch is just, other things that is just who I am yeah. that just means that those were the choices I made right. there could have been various reasons for those choices yeah. Those were the best filmmakers, according to me, in the country that I that I was getting a chance to work with, um, and my heart was in all of those films, each and every one of them. Sure. Like when I've walked, I know you're going to count definitely. Doom Three is one of these big blockbuster films. Absolutely. When I have walked onto the set to do those songs, I was it was my dream. Mm. You know, it might may not be somebody else's dream, mm. but it was my dream. It was my dream to do those songs and to to show a uh, um, you know a circus performer looking athletic, da- dancing like that. Because that's that, 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 that this is my passion. That's what excites. That's you. what excites. That's yeah. what excited me to do. Not and necessarily that was to watch. my passion. Absolutely. Yeah, you watch anything. And, uh, if you ask another actress, she'd be like the thought of doing that. Oh my God, we're her scene for no, 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 no. That's not my thing. Yeah. She may have other passions, but that. It was me dance and performance in that in this zone has given me immense immense joy mm. and that expression has meant so much to me like the zen that i have found in my dance rehearsals over the years mm. in those rehearsal halls mm. it's like um it's like solace to me i don't know i don't know how to describe yeah. it that's that's who i am that's the person you know, who I, I, just, am. I just brought that up because i want to do a vicky kaushal shout out essentially Aww. you know but then so no, no, congrats- I'll I'll congratulations that. i know it's been you. three years thank uh, you. B- belated congratulations but can we can we we yes. can come back to that, that we point will. that you're yeah. saying so 
96, no, that was not. 96 is actually shown to me because somebody wanted to remake it in Hindi. Okay. And that's how I saw the film and I thought, I mean, I love it. It's the not film. your late night Netflix. No, but uh, Super Deluxe, Super was, Deluxe it was, was a film which I think everyone spoke about. It was just mm. an incredible film. And, you know, even in the midst of all of these, mm. um, let's say, larger scale films I did, I was always that person who was watching, like, at that, at that time, a Dibakar Banerjee film. I was always in touch with those okay. with, with filmmakers who were making those type of films as well. For some reason or another, those films didn't, didn't excite get, you to be part. No, of. they didn't work out, and oh. it would not be because of me. Yeah. it would just for some reason, you know, like not happen. So mm. I really feel like that was my destiny. What mm. happened was my destiny. But I've always been in touch, like. I mean, uh, nothing, not a known thing, but like, for example, me and Vasanbala, like leave the last year, so yeah. not, in, not in the last year, year and a half, but before that, we've had like multiple meetings where I've been messaging him and I've been saying like, you know, we've, we've had coffee, coffee conversations, so I'd love to do something together. You can't call we've Vasanbala, sir, so, right? You might be younger, I think. He is not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do. Just let me call him, sir. <laughs> but we've had great coffee conversations. Huh. I know I, he's come over. He's discussed an idea. So it's not that I'm sitting in some some sure. different no, land. I, I'm know, very much. But you know, I, I love I'm, their I'm, films. Why, why I'm also saying this is because you know when like when you got married, and this happens to all couples, right? You also expand your peeps. You know, you also make Absolutely. new friends based on your partner and you know, there, there is a world that you sort of become part of. Did you like make new friends? Because this is Bollywood, but there's another, there's another Bollywood, right? It no, is no, while this part of the film listen, industry. I, like, say, Neera, I say what part be your friend now. I say very openly, yeah. I say baby, you are an art, art <laughs> film, what do you call it? It's an art house film? Art house film, yeah. I say you are, you are at heart an art house film, Actor. like, uh, a buff. I'm not even yeah, talking about yeah. an actor, a buff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think he's, such an incredibly versatile actor and I think more than he ever demands of himself I I see him in that way because I just feel he is so so capable of doing incredible things yeah. like I as a just as an actor I'm excited to watch what he does in movies because mm. I think he is so versatile and talented and this has nothing to do with me sure. being his wife as his wife, then I pull his leg all the time. There's that conversation you all the time. You make those disparaging remarks that movie industry guys make, right? Yeah, art yeah, art No, 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 but in his choices of films. So, huh. for example, if I, if he will know every, that every film or TV show which is coming out, which I might not yet have heard, heard of and I yeah. might come to know of it a little bit later, but he will know of it like on real time. Sure. He's very, very in tune with everything that's been made and, um, I think I mean that's that's his experience, that's his journey, that's where he he comes from. Right, but you would like meet. I I'm, I'm, I want to get into how your life could have changed from a social point of view once you get married. Like you would have like new friends from from Vicky Kaushal, you know his his Absolute, own. Absolutely, I mean absolutely. First of all, it's not just two friends. First of all, it's, it's two family, families right? coming yeah. together. Yeah, He has. Uh, he comes from a very you know. Uh, Which is also close, a film family. Yeah, a film family, of yeah. course. That's that's the immediate family. But yeah. then they have there's the extended family as well, yeah. right? They all their the whole entire family who's in Punjab still, who of course came to the wedding, who we mm. all got to meet at the wedding. Um, so first of all, it's two big families coming together. Mm. I come from a big family, right? Mm. I mean, I have six sisters and then there's a whole <laughs> thing and then there's this whole thing. And that was, I mean, that was just, it was the most incredible thing to see at our wedding. And I, I, I just think that his parents have raised, they've raised just the most incredible children, you know, both Vicky and Sunny, both of them are just such grounded, well-balanced, incredible uh, young people to, people with their yeah, principles yeah. in place. In terms of father, you're referring to uh, Sham Kaushal. Sham yes. The viewers know he's like a really talented action director who has an incredible story of his own. Yeah. It's fascinating. Again, a shout out. Uh, if you ever get the time, wherever you catch your podcast, catch the Bombay film story that we've done with Sham Kaushal. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's not, of course, it's all, all about movies, but it's also his story. It's, it's nuts. Like from a, from a you know, mechanic shop to where, where he went. It's, it's fascinating. Um, so, so family becomes a new friend. Is that, is that what it is? Like there's a social so, so, circle from there. two families families coming together and then definitely his friend circle and the most incredible one of the most incredible things is he has this really uh, core group of friends I would call who are, have been his friends all of them there's a large group I think it's like 20 of them like engineering college since, and stuff yes ah. since college exactly since then and they are such fun people 
and so that that was Do a whole new entrance into my like life. This, this Katrina no, they, they 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 really didn't. I think because um, because of the way they are and Vicky and them together have mm. have I guess cultivated that that right. relationship or that equation over the years. No, and in fact, um, some of them even so kind of the the, the group kind of split up, split up into two parts, and a lot of people. Uh, went to live and work in New York. Mm. So even when we travel there, we have a right, whole right. kind of group You're of fans who are, yeah, who are... Who was your first friend in Bombay? Do you remember when you came down to the city? Alvira was definitely one of okay. the first friends and we became friends, she tells me, because we went to the same step class together. Okay. I don't know if you still remember step. What is that? Step is like a little step and you do like this little it's like an aerobics class so you get okay. on the step you get off you get on the steps and then you do turns like a choreographed like a pilates i don't know no it's not like a pilates there was no such thing as pilates <laughs> back then okay step class is good old jane fonda it's huh. aerobics aerobic, aerobic. you just kind of you know you do simple sense. things so you guys met and there in the, in the we met there and yeah. she was like i was just so fascinated by this girl who would just come to class eating like peanut butter banana sandwiches mm -hmm. <laughs> it just seemed a bit off and uh, yeah, so she was she was really one of my uh, first first friends, Yasmin Karachiwala, mm. who of course then became like my like ex an extended part of me because she, I think in the last twenty years she spent so much time with me mm. <laughs> as uh, as my trainer. You know, I have to say this. You know, before I came here uh, for this conversation, Katrina, I was really really apprehensive, and I'll tell you why. Because ten years ago, okay. Uh, there is a magazine called Caravan, uh, which is like a long-form journalism magazine. Like they don't write anything less than eight thousand words. Okay. Have you written an article for in, about I, me? Yes, there, and you know they asked me to profile you. And was it? Uh, did you write a mean no, article? No, no, no. I don't know. I, hear, I don't know first about this. Hear what I'm saying. Oh, well, now you sound like my husband. What do you mean? What do you mean? He says I don't let him finish his sentences. Well, because I am, you know, I am still talking, <laughs> and and so what happened was no, it was a great. In we we had I had met you a couple of times before as well, so I had my material in that sense, and there was a lot of context uh, context making I could do with that with that profile, but I had no anecdotes here. And I'm like, how do I fill up 8,000 words? I can't even change the word count. So I, I hope you're going to change that right now uh, in terms of... Uh, so in the context uh, setting, what I did was I spoke to a lot of people who sort of work with you uh, for that piece. And then one of them I spoke to was Zoya Akhtar. And Zoya, because this is around 2013, right? And the movie, that uh, anthology, Bombay Talkies, had come out. And, uh, and you know, you featured in that as a, as a, as like a fairy. fairy. In that film, there's a boy who wants to dance, who wants to become Sheila, and then... It was such a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. It it's a beautiful, beautiful story. story. So I asked her, why is it that you would cast Katrina Kaif as a fairy? Because she needed something which is mythical as a story. Uh, because that's what fairies are. And, and something that's totally dreamlike. And she said, first, she... You can ask anybody, how did you make it? But it's impossible to figure how you made it. In the sense that one, you know, you... You knew no one in India, mm. let alone Bombay. Uh, you knew no Hindi. So there is that, right? And uh, so, so she's the obvious one. You know, that's what dreams are made of. I'm just wondering how tough it must have been for you. You were barely 17. How did you even get to India? I didn't, I didn't see anything as difficult back then. If, to, yeah. if today someone asked me to do that, I mean, no, impossible. That's why I always find it, I find it fascinating that after having seen so much after having achieved everything, I think, in this zone yeah. that I set out to do. Of course, now I have new dreams and I may have new goals, but when I came in, I had a certain, I had a certain vision. After having achieved all that, I would, ha I would say I have so much more fear and I, so I think so much more now than when I, I came in when, I guess it's like that expression, you have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. Because if I had to do it now, I mean, I'd be terrified. I'd be terrified. It's terrifying but to even it, think about it. Like, you know, it's like an Indian person going to Madagascar and becoming the biggest star it's, Madagascar it, it, has ever it seen. Would be, it would be terrifying. And I think back then, I, I, don't, I don't know what it was. I think it was just, I think I was just... Naive? And that's naive. a good thing sometimes? Yeah, innocence, I yeah. think. I think it was just naive, innocence. And um, I, I, I remember there was, there, was a, there was an instance where I was on a South, a South Indian film film set with Venkatesh, so this would have been Maleshwari. Maleshwari, right. And, and uh, I was doing a song and, and one, so, somebody on the set was, was saying that, I mean, this, like on the mic, like, this girl just can't dance. And mm. I remember very specifically, but not feeling pained or sensitive about it, just kind of hearing it as information. Like, so I guess like, things didn't, 
they didn't penetrate in a in a way which stopped me. Mm. Does that does that make sense to you? Like I have so many so many memories of people telling me to my face, and I I can remember it as we sit here that you will not make it, you cannot succeed, uh, this will not work, I will never take you in a film, we will not be able to work with you, and all of this changed. The same the same people who said these things to me, I did work with all of them, mm. I did do films with all of them, you know, so had I taken that and taken it to my heart and um, got interjected and gave up yeah then none of this would have happened so what you insulate yourself from any sort of criticism that's coming straight to your face I think no I, I would sit there and I would cry oh you would just cry I would cry and then feel better right after no I, I don't I just think I think process I, I really believe that I process things in the most possible healthiest way I just didn't take them to heart like I didn't take it negatively okay he's saying something maybe I'm not doing something right now. Okay, let's just try a little harder. Let's just work a little harder, become a little better, per perfect your craft, be better at what you do. Mm. It will change. And I, I think I just went with my heart. Like you just took it by, by the day, like played it by the year, like, okay, next thing, next thing, instead of getting bogged down. Because, because there, is, there is a world that you knew from outside the city, right? Mm. And you could have always given up and done other things. You were a professional model. You were doing pretty well for yourself even before you entered the films, if I'm not mistaken. I think L'Oreal already like hired you yes. before you got your first film, right? Yeah. So that could have been your thing, but you were very clear it's going to be, it's going to be the movies. I mean, I was doing, I was very successful uh, in the modeling industry, but I, it was, my heart was here. My heart was here and I think I just, I don't know. It's like you said, it's very hard to explain. Even I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Today, if somebody would criticize me, it would, it would, uh, it would hurt me so much more than I think it did, it did back then. I would, I would take it, it would probably affect me much more. You know, like speaking of context setting, right? Because I, you know, I really had to work hard to write that 8,000 word piece. And if the viewers want, I can really like uh, drop a, a link uh, under this video. But you know, like one of the other things that, that came into the context is like, for instance, you know, in Indian cinema, right? Uh, in Hindi cinema uh, or Bombay cinema, for lack of a better word, when silent era was there, there were lots of Anglo Indians who worked as leads, you know, Patience Cooper and Sita Devi and, you know, or, or even foreigners in that sense, right? But the moment it went from silent to talkies because language was an issue, uh, they stopped being the stars that they were. You worked on your Hindi. It's not, it's not easy to learn the language, right? Do you work really hard on your Hindi to, to sort of perfect it, to be, to be able to do this? Uh, were, in the earlier years, were, were you being dubbed um, no. for your performances? No. No. It, it's just hard work. It was yeah. hard work. I think it was um, Jackie, Jackie Shroff who first told me, learn to read Devnagri. Mm. And that was very important for me because in the first few films, mm. at that time, the directors would write the the lines on the set and give it to you. And, and in Devnagri? Or? Yes, oh, a lot, of, a lot okay. of them would write in Devnagri and I never wanted to be in that position where I was like, uh, 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 what do I do? Mm. So the first thing I did was learn to read in Devnagri and I think that, that was the base which saved me. Mm. There's, there's, really, it's, there's nothing more complex to it than that. And having amazing, amazing people to work with and just putting your head down and doing, doing what was necessary. Yeah. And loving what you do. If you love what you do, then you will put in the work, whatever it was. Whether it was learning the language, whether it was in dance that dance, I needed to. Dance, right? That was killer. Like, I remember you telling me when, when we met uh, many, many years ago that you joined a dance academy or a Kathak, Kathak, yeah. in a Kathak yeah. school. And that among the, among the others were Priyanka Chopra, Lara Dutta. You learned dance with them. They were senior, yeah. Priyanka was uh, was like the star pupil in the class. So I, at the at the same time as when I was um, you know really kind of investing mm. myself into learning Hindi was was the same time where I put myself into uh, Kathak training with mm. um, with my Guruji Viru Krishna uh, Guru Viru Krishna and. Um, while that's you were acting, spent, you were also learning Hindi. I mean, that's why I spent all my time. We'd wake up at six in the morning. We would be there. The class would be till twelve, and you know, you'd wear your tire gungurus, come and knock on the door. A small room with no AC, and um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I think the last thing I'm gonna end with, and because it's because we have looked back at your life and and your life in the films. This is your twenties, okay? So. 
you get your 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 first film in, then you get your first big hit. That would be Mene Pyar Kyo Kiya, right? Yeah, that would be so. 2004. Would be your first big hit, at least in so far as Hindi films are concerned. And then it's your 20s. That's the youth. That's entirely spent working, or or did you have fun in this new city that you were exploring as well? No, I I love my job. I love I love what I do. So I. I've loved every minute, every minute and every day that has been spent um, at work for me. I've, I've I've enjoyed it. It's it's part of my life. I don't see it as separate from my life. But you would unwind you the places in Bombay that you loved going to. I've lo I've loved working with everyone. So the oft oftentimes the teams that we would work with and and those people almost become like your family. Yeah. You know, they become like your temporary family, and in some cases, they they stay with you. Yeah. Um, so no, I mean, for me, it was. It's every every day has been. And it's been a crazy, crazy ride. I have to say, I think I think Leo Tolstoy said said something to the effect of a great story is about a, a man who goes off on a journey, mm -hmm. or a stranger comes to town. Mm -hmm. Your story is both, and I think uh, someday, Katrina, uh, you you've said a few things here, but I think someday you should film your own story. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> but thanks for this. Leave some things. Unwritten. <laughs> really? I think you should write it. I mean a what what I point. what I want what I want to be said is what is the work I've 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 done and the work that I hope to leave behind and and hopefully um, you know uh, the work that one can do with and for society in general. Yeah. Katrina Kev, you've been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you for being on. Thank Super you. Pleased. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.